Welcome back to the Irish Bears show. It is great to be back to talk about another draft prospect and one of my personal favorites, and that is running back Roshan Johnson out of Texas. Now, you hear the words running back in Texas, and you think of Bijan Robinson, who is one of the favorites to go in the top 10 to top 15 players in the upcoming draft. But there is another running back on that team that deserves all the plaudits as well, because look, he is a fantastic option for many teams that don't want to use a draft pick at the very beginning of the draft. We always hear running backs are a dime a dozen. You need to get somebody that you can bring in, that you can develop. And for me, there's nobody in a better spot than Roshan Johnson to be able to do that. And I'll go through a couple of the reasons why, but realistically, he has everything that you look for. He's a good pass blocker. He has soft hands in terms of he's able to go out of the backfield and be involved in the passing attack. But then also there's that after contact kind of balance and breaking through tackles, which makes him a really intriguing prospect. Like, we all talk about Bijan Robinson because he's touted as the best running back coming out of the draft since Saquon Barkley. But when you actually look at it, in terms of what what um, Roshan's been able to do, he has a 45% forced missed tackle rate in terms of what he's able to do. He's very creative with the ball in his hands. Again, he he's not easy to bring down. I will show you kind of this in one of the plays and – some other things that we're going to be talking about today. He has a running style that I think personally Eberflus is going to love. I think the Bears would love because he just doesn't go down. It's very reminiscent of David Montgomery because he's not at, he's not a burner. He can be involved in the passing attack. He breaks a bunch of tackles. He's a good pass blocker. And I, I feel like this is actually the perfect substitution where David Montgomery leaves the Bears, goes to the Lions, well, you want to bring somebody in that you feel that can fit that role. And I know that they've signed Dante Foreman. I know they have Khalil Herbert at the beginning. But as we've seen, running backs are kind of like a dime a dozen that, look, Khalil Herbert's going to have to get paid in a year or two's time, right? Dante Foreman has only played one full season of, without getting hurt. So the interesting thing is you now bring in a guy that doesn't have a lot of miles on, on the tires because – He's been behind one of the better running backs, if not the best running back in college football over the last couple of years. And the the thing that I like here is he provides you with versatility in terms of you can bring him in if you want to use max protect and you need him to block a, a pass rusher because he has those long arms. He also has a lot of strength. And look, I'm going to show you one of his plays from the senior bowl practices that kind of stood out as well. So that's one of the things, the thing where we're going to talk about where his weaknesses become or are very evident is look, he's not a burner. And people always like to see kind of the really, really fast guys. He's not going to be that guy. As you can see in the stats beside, he had a 4.5, a 40 yard dash vertical jump was 31 and a half broad jump, 122 inches. Like you look at those and the measurables are, Good. They're especially for the 40 yard dash. But we also look at other guys are like, oh, you kind of want the guys that are in the four fours. He's a four five eight. That's just the way he is. He's a tall running back, which the that leads to his other kind of weakness that I would put out there. And that's his pad level. Sometimes he plays a little bit too high. And again, it's that lateral agility that he needs to improve on. But the positives for me outweigh the negatives. Like I said, low mileage. Pass blocking's there. He's a receiving back and that run after contact. And he's really good in terms of a balanced running back. And that's one of the things that I really like about him. I think that he would be, it's just he fits so perfectly for what the Bears would be looking for. And look, it's it's one of those that I think it's going to be interesting to see wherever he goes because we always talk about you want to use up the running backs as, as much as you can. Well, you can do that with Roshan because he hasn't been used that often. Now, I guess to go on the opposite side, that could show a lack of experience because he hasn't played that much. But again, as a backup to Bijan, still had over 500 rushing yards of five touchdowns. In terms of his projection going into the draft, he's a third or fourth round pick, depending on who you ask, really. Um, 
But let's have a look at some of, I guess, one of his plays that I think indicates him as a runner, but then also one of the snaps in terms of his pass blocking. Because I think those two are really important to look at here. So let's have a look at these now. So this is just him in terms of, let me uh, just so, just in case we missed anything there, let's go back all the way to the start of this. Um, so again, what you're going to see here is he hits contact, right? Doesn't go down, makes the first man miss. Another guy comes in, makes him miss. Again, makes <laughs> again makes him miss again. Now there's good blocking by Texas. Is able to use that, that move and then is able to finish it off. And those are some of the things you want. Now, where I think this is even more important is when you look at his pass blocking, because we always talk about you need to make sure that you can help out in that side of the game. And that's something that Khalil Herbert has been accused of not being very good at. So when you look at him going up here, I think this was against Azuma. Um, so first of all, even for a tall guy, he's able to use those long arms to be able to stop Azuma from coming in. Um, I'm pretty sure it's him. Um, but again, what I like here is that pretty good base in terms of overall what he's doing, but he's able to use what he has in terms of, look, this guy's a pass rusher. He should be able to go past him. But the one thing that he's able to do is to use those long arms to his advantage. But yeah, that's pretty much what he's able to do here. And I think that's really, really good. Um, but yeah, uh, that's the most part for Roshan. Um, and let me just go back here. Um, let me go back into this side here and get rid of the video. But look, I think overall works out really well. I think you want to have a back that can complement what you're able to get in terms of your running back room. I think it works. It works well. You'd probably, if you were drafting him, you'd probably say goodbye to guys like. Darrington Evans and Treston Ebner, and you'd have the three horse in terms of you would have Khalil Herbert, you would have um, you would have Dante Foreman, and then Roshan, and then not really worry about it going forward. So look, I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys like Roshan Johnson first of all? Do you think that he's a good fit for the Bears? Let me know who your favorite running backs are in this upcoming draft class. I know uh, Ant did um, Tajay Spears yesterday. Let us know which running back you'd prefer. Would you prefer Tajay Spears or would you prefer Roshan Johnson, who might get drafted a little bit later? Um, but yeah, let us know in the comments and let us know who you want us to go through and who you think would be a good option here. Look, appreciate all your guys' comments on these videos. It, it means a lot to us here. Please do subscribe, like the video, and until next time, bear down.